Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. Today I'm giving you guys this sexy, sultry Valentine look. It's easy to follow. As usual, the full list of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below. Please remember to like, comment, and share, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Hi guys! So as usual, starting off with freshly washed face, my skin is already moisturized, did my eyebrows and based my eyelids. And for today's palette, we are playing with the Red Dragon by Odin's Eye. This is a collaboration with Judy. So it's kind of fun for me to just grab a palette and just come on here and create a look because I never figure out what look I'm doing until I'm actually here sitting in front of the camera and I just go with the flow. So I look forward to see what I come up with at the end of it all. So we are going to start off today with Yin. I'm going to use this color Yin, which is this one. And we're going to apply that in our crease transition area using a Morphe. M533 brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Fire. It's this deep burgundy red color here and concentrate that in the outer V just to give more depth to the look. Using my Do Care brush, I'm going to use Serene, which is this muted color here. I'm going to use this on the rest of the lid. So you can leave the eyes like that simple but we're turning it up today we're bringing the heat today we're gonna use overheat it's a type of rose gold it's a multi shimmer color let's see if I can focus see that you're gonna use overpass all over where we laid that orange color Now I'm just going to go back around um, the edges with that same fire color just to take away that harshness using a Morphe um, 332 brush. To prime my skin, I'm going to use my Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer and I'm going to concentrate this primer in the center of my face since that's my oiliest area. For foundation today, I'm using my Path McGrath Labs uh, foundation in the shade Medium Deep 26. I'm using the Sunny Kashuk brush, foundation brush to apply this and then I'll go in with a beauty sponge just to take off any excess foundation that's on my skin and I'm pressing it into my skin as usual, never swiping. Next, I'm just going to conceal certain darker areas of my skin using my Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. This is very close to my skin tone. I'm going to blend that out with a Morphe Buffing Brush, M335 brush. Next, I am going to highlight. I'm not contouring today. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 370. I'm going to highlight the center of my face with this.
beauty sponge blend it into that foundation no harsh lines over here no ma'am to set that highlighted area you know it my laura mercier powder in the shade honey with my morphe um e sorry with my morphe e 49 brush And for the rest of my face, if I didn't apply that Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to go in with my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder in the shade 6N. And I'm going to use this everywhere else in my face. Press it into the skin. Set that foundation in place. See how flawless everything comes together? I'm going to use my Urban Decay Alkaline I'm using it also on the lash line and the lower water line that's where I'm using this and I'm going to smudge that out with my MAC 219 brush using that same deep red color the fire we're going to smoke it out by using that shade Okay, lashes is on, wing the upper lash lines. We are going to bronze our skin using our Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I'm going to use my Morphe E4 brush to apply that. Okay, I still missing something. I need a pop of color. Let's try this solar flare. It's a kind of greenish, goldish shimmer. Let's pop that in the inner corners and see what we get. Next, we're going to apply our blush, and I'm using my Juvia's Place Blush Volume 1. And we're going to use this orange one today using my Morphe E34 brush. Yes, we look clownish. I can see it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to turn that down using our powder brush with nothing extra on it just whatever is left over on there just gonna blend it in see that and we're gonna go in with our MAC Oh Darling highlighter while the skin is still kind of damp um, and apply this to the high points of our cheekbones using my Sigma F03 brush and to finish off the look we are going dampy today this is a sultry sexy valentine's look next I'm going to use my MAC lip pencil in the shade night mark And I'm going to stain my entire lips with this color as well as line my lips. That's that. Next, I'm going to use my Lime Climb Velveteen lipstick in the shade Blood Moon and stain my entire lip. So, providing I don't mess this look up, if you guys have been with me from the beginning, my look is never complete unless there's a pop of color. So, this looks glamorous, don't get me wrong. However, I need a pop of something. So I'm going to use my other 
Odin's Eye Cosmetics palette and this is the Hummingbird palette. This is the collab with Tina, the fancy face. And she has this beautiful green in her palette called Feathers. I'm going to use that in my inner corners because I just need a little pop of something else. Hopefully this will do it and I don't mess it up. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's go for it. Just do it, just do it. Oh, yes. Come through, Tina. You did it, girl. You see the difference? I needed that green. So this completes my look for today. This is my sexy, sultry Valentine look. I hope this was easy to follow. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.